What's up everyone? This is the Raw Truth coming at you with another video. And this video is going to be... Uh, you're going to laugh at this because, you know... It's, we talk about black women, but we really don't... You know, get into some of the comments that we see other black women leave and stuff like that. Because, you know, shouts out to the very, very few black women... Who sees it the way it's supposed to be seen, not the way that not them getting all wrapped up in their emotions and everything else is trying to see things a different way, you know. And I always stress that the people, whenever I'm speaking to them, or more likely I'm in a debate with them, that your feelings and emotions don't dictate truth, and that's something that you black women have always done. You think your feelings and emotions, all you got to do is say something and it sticks. No, I'm the type of brother, whenever you bring something to me, I best see some proof. You better say, send some proof. Don't sit up there and run your damn mouth and talk about, oh, the black man, he, he doesn't take care of his kids. But I see no proof from you. And a lot of times y'all be bringing things from racist websites like Stormfront.com, Rush Limbaugh, them, no, the, you know them sites that hate black men. That's where you get a lot of your. That's where you get your information from, black women, from racist sites, from nigger sites. I hate black men. You know, you know, because if I'm telling you, black woman, that the black man is not a deadbeat father, that the black man take care of his kids, I'm coming with a book called The Myth of the Missing Black Father that shows that the black man actually comes in number one and taking care of his kids and in that book from Carnegie, Cornell all these colleges and universities that was studied dozens and dozens of times the resources is in there all came in agreement to see that the black man comes in number one and taking care of his kids. See, I see a black woman, how I brought something tangible. I brought something, some some proof to let you know that whatever I'm saying, there's proof behind it. Y'all don't because y'all have, you know, y'all have this in your mind that anytime you say something, it's gold. Meanwhile, it's tarnished, you know. And I'm doing this video because, you know, it amazes me how so many women want to talk about, oh, bashing black women this and bashing black women that. But you know what's funny? Nobody has never, ever spoken about black women who cannot stand you black women. Nobody's really going on to them and really exposing how some black women that I've talked to and conversed with over the years, dozens and dozens of black women who are training their sons not to even deal with black women because they see how they are. And some of those black women who are training their sons not to deal with black women were the same whores who did that to their father. And now that they have sons, and you know how uh, some sometimes in the home, you know, the son is being treated like a man, like the man in the house and stuff like that. And now she's scared that she may run into a, um, that he may run into a woman just like her. So it's kind of funny how, you know, on one hand, black woman is saying I'm bashing black woman, but yet there's a bunch of black, there's not a bunch, but a few black women is saying, look, this is true. I'm training my sons not to deal with American black women. It's funny how black women went overseas are thumbing her nose down at you black woman here. Why? Because they see how much race, race, uh, uh, race traitors that you are. <laughs> They see that black woman overseas told me whenever they come to America, they don't even associate with you black woman because they see what you do. They see how, how you act towards us. And they actually feel sorry for the black man here. Which is why the black man is leaving going different parts overseas and around the world because he's more wanted over there. So the black man is always being desired. It's not you. It's just not you black woman. You know, I sit up there and talk so many times with black women and see the comments that black woman you know, is leaving, you know, and it's like if we're bashing black woman, then that's the catch 22 because nobody bashes black woman, then black woman bashes themselves. I don't have a camera to, to, uh, to, to put on world star hip hop or YouTube showing black woman twerking. Black woman, you do that. I don't have a camera urging you black woman to fight. I'm trying to encourage y'all to love. Black woman, you do that. 
So if I'm all this and all this and bad and terrible and stuff like that, black woman, and we're supposed to be bashing y'all, then why do y'all do the behavior? I would think the behavior is the problem, not the one reporting it. For it, for instance, if a guy sit up there and shoots a person and kills that person, but I report that that guy kills the person, which is more damaging, the report or what the person did. But you know what, you woman, you know that. You know this black woman. Stop playing your damn games. You know that. Because, see, I don't see you attacking Fox News. I don't see y'all attacking CBS. I don't see you attacking any news organization out there when it reports your crime. When it has a camera in your face making a mockery out of you. Oh, she did this because she wanted to get attention. I don't see y'all attacking them. I don't see y'all yelling, you bashing black woman. Y'all shut your damn mouth. Y'all, yeah, y'all, y'all smiling. A lot of times, y'all just act stupid. So my question to you, black women, is, you know, you have a double standards. Why? You know, the older generation, I spoke last um, last video about the older woman you felt. Of course she felt older woman because you older woman in your 50s. Here's the problem that y'all have. Y'all spend all of your life whoring yourself out. Sleeping with Pookie and Ray Ray's great-grandfather or grandfather. Y'all spend all your time dancing, having yourself a good old time, showing your sexy body off. And then once you hit her age of 35 or once you hit the age of 40, you think automatically that makes you a woman. No, what we have in our community is a bunch of black women who are 50 years old who still as little girls who have not even matured yet. So we still have babies having babies, but these babies are 40 years old. We still have these women out there who act just as worse as the younger woman who was quick to tell people, I mean, look, I see y'all working. I see, I see y'all at the job. Let the white man give you a position of management. You go to fuck off on a brother for no doggone reason. Because you black woman, you can't control yourself at a job. You can't control yourself anywhere. The only place you control yourself with is in front of the white man. That's it. And you black woman, you know that. Because you woman in the 50s, like I said before, y'all scared to confront black women. Oh yeah, y'all scared. Y'all punks and y'all cowards. Because let y'all sit up there and correct black women and see what happened to y'all. The things that are reporting, how black women are violent, how black women lead in child abuse, how black women, you know, are illogical. How black woman is this, black woman is that, will be visited and tap dance upon your heads. Y'all afraid of getting your ass kicked. So y'all have joint sides with the black woman who is doing destructive behaviors in our community. Why? Because y'all afraid. But you, That's why y'all want men to stand up to be men. Y'all want a bunch of men calling the black woman out while y'all sit on your asses. Well, it's time for you black woman to stand the fuck up. Shut the fuck up and stand the fuck up. How about that, black woman? Hmm? How about that, black woman? How about you shut your damn mouth to the black man and start respecting him once in your goddamn life? Shut the fuck up. Know your doggone role and get behind us and follow us. And if you don't want to get behind, at least be on our side and still be guided by us. But no. You want men to stand up to be men on your terms. But hey, they break it to you. We're not on your terms. And no man should ever be on your terms. You should be on our terms. <laughs> you black woman who call yourself of age, you're the biggest laughing stock in failure like crazy. I can't tell you how many times I've walked on the street here in Philadelphia or been around places in Philadelphia just to see women who look, uh, young women who are dressed whorish and you old school ladies don't say a shit about it. Y'all don't say a damn thing about it. So by default, y'all bash black woman because y'all didn't say shit about it. Y'all didn't love that young girl enough to tell her to take off them spandex and put on a dress. Take off that and put on this. Cover yourself up, girl. I don't see that happening in our community. I don't see it happen at all. I get sick and tired of looking over, seeing my young sisters who are growing up probably in a whorish home because majority of black women are whores. 
You know, I get tired of seeing them coming out there with sh- exposing their booties and stuff like that, having guys whistle at them, having guys wanting to wanting to hit that, want, wanting to tap that and stuff like that. And then I'm looking, and there's 15 the old school women ain't saying a damn thing. Thing about it then when I say something about it you know what I also do I also turn around and I rip the old women the heads to shreds see that's why a lot of you black women who are ha- who are old who are 50s and 60s is hit with diabetes hit with a whole lot of diseases and stuff like that and a lot of y'all are going into them halfway houses and and them high risers for uh, and stuff and nobody's seeing y'all because y'all ain't living a productive life because y'all felt and y'all pitiful and trifling and a lot of you black women in their 50s and 60s are dressing in whorish outfits because y'all still want to be the Stella gets her groove back that's what the fuck that movie was all about a whore who sat up there and had kids and now seeing a young man and want to get her groove back want to get her sex on fuck Stella have her groove groove on you know what you get the groove on, black woman? I'm talking to you woman and you're 40 years old and up. Shut your fucking mouth. Get trained by a real man like me. We'll go through the training process so you can go out there and be productive. I don't see any productive women. Y'all want to sit up there and run your damn mouth about the black man so much? Where the fuck are y'all? What the fuck are y'all black women to stand up? Y'all spend all that time in a white man's workplace making sure his business goes good so he can have a productive life with his family, but yet be monsters and be whores and sluts in our community. Tell me, how can a nation rise with that? Well, no nation can rise without the black woman. Well, if you tr- if you strongly believe that men are nothing without the black woman, then wouldn't it be make sense, common sense, and logic for you to be something in the community? Because right now you're just sponsored terrorists. Right now you're just whores and sluts. Right now you're, you're, woman, you're a nation of women who doesn't accept accountability and responsibility for nothing. So wouldn't it be a common sense and logical if the black man is power is useless without the black woman? If y'all notice, then by default that means y'all doing this shit on purpose because y'all notice. See, when y'all talk a lot, black woman, y'all really reveal. Y'all, y'all, I, now listen very, very carefully. I'm going to say it again. If you know that the black man cannot rise without his woman, then by default makes y'all doing this shit to us on purpose. Why? Because you have enough common sense to know when a black man and a black woman unite, we're going to do something. So you choose not to do something. So saying we need men to stand up to be men is a contradiction. Oh my gosh, did I stutter black woman? It's a contradiction. One hand, black man the black community is nothing without the black without the black woman there with with the by the side of the black man, but then you by the side of the white man. So you want the white community. Okay, let the white community rise. But see the funny part is the white man's in debt and you the white man's in debt hardly have any wealth, so is you black woman. They lie, They even lied to y'all and told y'all your wealth is five dollars. Y'all have a negative wealth, just like the white man. And we're supposed to build with that? Wow. At least us black men have Black Wall Street. What the fuck y'all have? <laughs> we built schools in the 1800s, colleges in the 1800s. What? What the hell did y'all? What? What did y'all build? But I see. It's all about keeping in competition with your man. And when you're in competition with your man, you have become the enemy. So old school ladies, you know, that, that's you. That's you. You felt. I know you ain't going to take responsibility because that, that would be a womanly thing to do. But you felt. You felt miserably. You get a F for failure. Black woman, wear your shame as a badge of honor. Stop with all that cheap shots and shameful tactics because I laugh at them all. You know why I laugh at them? Because it's like talking to a little kid and a little kid. Oh, your mama. I mean, this is what y'all are. Y'all not women. I don't see any women. I don't see any real women. Maybe a couple on YouTube. Maybe a couple, if that. Before y'all ever say some shit, 
I'm part of Women Against Feminism. I have a lot, I have black women who are subscribed to me, and I also have black women who followed me. So go ahead with your stupid shit comments. You bashing black women? Then why the fuck they some of them follow me? I'm the raw truth. Since your hate mail, I don't give a damn. Your death threats, let's dialogue. But you're going to get the truth raw from the raw truth. Peace.